In this video, I'm going to look at patterns and generalizing. So looking for number patterns and seeing if we can generalize them. And I'm going to do it by looking at adding up odd numbers. When I open Cambridge Primary Maths Toolbox, this is my screen. I have my floating toolbar and my various toolboxes. One of the first things I'm going to do is put some writing on the screen. So I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see it. To put writing on the screen, I can either write freehand, I'm going to type, I'm going to pick up the text box, which appears up in the top left hand side corner. And I'm going to put in some things, so I'm going to put in 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. I'm going to do two or three carriage returns and I'm going to repeat the process. So I'm going to do 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. And I'm going to put in some dots to show that I've left some numbers out rather than write them all out. And I'm going to finish with plus 97 and plus 99. So we're going to look at adding up the first five odd numbers and seeing if we can use that result to work out how to add up the first 50 odd numbers. So let's start by moving my problem into the centre of my screen. So pick it up and move it. If things don't move for any reason, click the select tool at the top of the screen. If that's not clicked, then things won't move. I'm just going to put this back over here and I'm going to consider how we're going to approach this problem. You can discuss it with the pupils. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 is easy enough to add up. We could do that. We could also add up by hand the numbers between 1 and 99, the odd numbers, but it would take rather a long time and there's a chance we might make a mistake. So what we're going to look at today is can we find an easier way of doing it and can we generalise? So I'm going to put in a new sheet of paper. So we're going to go up to the top, click for a new page and I'm going to start by putting a grid onto my sheet. So I'm going to click here for grids and backgrounds I'm going to click for a grid, that's that one, and I'm going to click OK. And there we have my grid. Why do I need a grid to add up 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9? Well, I don't unless I'm looking for a pattern. Now I'm next going to click into my Shape and Space toolbox, and I'm going to click on this picture of a dog at the end. So let's click on that. What that will do is it will colour in squares for me, currently in black. So I'm going to click. A black square so there's my number one. I'm going to click a black square again I'm going to change the color to yellow and I'm going to add three to it but I'm going to position them in a particular way. I'm then going to repeat the process so I'm going to do one and three and five. So we can see here, my first odd number is 1, my second odd number is 3, my third odd number is 5, and if I push them together, I can make squares. So what does this tell me? Well this tells me, and let's do some writing again, so I'm just going to move this out of the way and do some typing. To type, click the pen tool, click the text box and let's just type. So let's have a look. The first number we've got is 1 and to make my pattern I'm just going to put equals 1 times 1 and that equals 1. Seems a bit long-winded. Couple of spaces and let's look at the next square. The next square is 1 plus 3 and that's the same as a 2 by 2 square. So 2 by 2 and that equals 4. The next one is 1 plus 3 plus 5 and that equals, now that makes when we push it together a 3 by 3 square. And 3 times 3 is 9. So there's some typing, so let's have a look, let's click away from it, make sure I've got the select arrow selected, let's pull it out of the way. So let's have a look at our pattern. 
we add up the first odd number, we get 1. The second odd number, we get 2 times 2 as the sum, which is 4. If we add up the first three odd numbers, we get 3 times 3, which is 9. On the next page, I prepared another sheet. Let's remove the grid so we can see it more easily. So I'm just going to click again, and I'm just going to click the white background to give me a background without a grid. My square tool will still work without the grid. So if I wanted to build another block, all I need to do is pick up my square tool again. If I start off in black again, you can see that it works perfectly well. So I can just click and I can continue to click around it. So the next one is the yellow one. So I don't actually need the grid on in the background to make square patterns. So let's have a look at the pattern we've generated. So here we've got the first three numbers added up. Now the first four numbers, what you would like them to write is 4 times 4 is 16. And to add the first five numbers, which is this big block here, we can see that they add up to 5 times 5, which is 25. So now we hope we can fill in the rest of these blanks. So that's the first outing into number patterns.